Welcome to Maeve the Wonder Van. May she remain a Wonder Van and we make it to our event on the weekend. Come on. Um, I thought I would just take you through what I'm packing this weekend because this is Estrid's first vet gated ride. Um, so I thought we'd go through what I've put in the van. So first of all, here's my lovely bench seat. And in here we have got two big buckets. They're gonna be like the vet gate water, we'll fill them up two like pouring on buckets, a sweat scraper, two sponges. So that's kind of like the basics for throwing water on. We then have three water containers, the human um, kind of crew bag. So I've got water, I've got Y foods, which I'll have for breakfast and in the vet gate. I've got Jaffa cakes for on course. I've got electrolyte drinks. Um, some of them are zero, no calories. Some of them have um, glucose in, so I get that little bit extra oomph. Um, and then I have got here spare chaps, spare helmet. Um, that's actually my showing gear. It doesn't need to be in here, but we move. Then this is the rug box. I've got a waterproof rug, um, fly rugs, like you name it. There's there's rugs for every occasion in here. Then we've got my spares box. It's got. Hold on, what has it got? It's got spare shoes, it's got hoof boots, it's got vet wrap, a hoof pick, a lead rope, um, girths, all sorts, um, cable ties, string, all the things. Um, my spare shoes are up here, my chaps are here. I've got a grooming kit with fly spray. I've got the horse first aid kit. Down here, this is my vet gate box. So this is something that normally doesn't come along with me. So in here is Boots for the second loop. I need to put my girth in, it's currently in the wash. Numbness for the second loop. Then we've got things like a lead rope, vet wrap, ice boots, a waterproof cover for my saddle if it's raining. Um, like lots of bits and bobs that I've accumulated over the years. Maybe I'll go through my vet gate kit in more detail if we go to more vet gate. Then we've got a standard in my van, lots of, lots of coats. We've got my Aquaraid, treats for mounting and a chair for me to chill in the hold. It's a 40 minute hold and I'm not sure what Estrid will be like and it's only Dan crewing me, so I doubt I'll get to sit down, but it's there anyway. We've got my trusty slosh bottles, the crew car feed, which is a mix of chaff, nuts and endurance mix. We've got sugar beet water, plain water and electrolyte water. So normally I would take three sets of all of these for a big ride because I'd have one in the crew car, one in the crew like vet gate area and then one in the hold area but for the shorter vet gates you're crewing next to your trailer and it's all in the same place so you're you're crewing your vet gate your hold and your finish all at the trailer so i only need one but what i have done is put a plain water in the trailer just in case my crew car doesn't get to me um, and that's something i always keep in mind of do i have the essentials in the trailer if the crew car for some reason is held up, doesn't arrive, breaks down. It has happened to me. Um, so in the trailer, we have got plain water, three loads of water to fill up all the vet gate stuff. And then here is the three different types of feed. Um, so I was just doing the crew kit today and tomorrow I'm gonna put all my tack in. I'm gonna give Estrid a bath and hopefully on Saturday morning, we'll trot her up, she'll be sound and we go for a ride. It's day two of ride prep. You don't need two days to do it. I've just spread it out. Um, and an annoying twist of fate, I've developed a head cold overnight, which isn't the best, but also not the end of the world. But I have bought my tack back from home. It is nice and squeaky clean. I'm ready to go in the trailer. So I just need to go get my saddle, um, check that over and I need to remember to put my spare girth in the vet gate box and I think that is everything packed. Um, another thing I do um, is I will download the map, so the ride map off of the EGB website because basically I don't want to carry paper. It's really tricky to open paper and look at paper and it rustles and then if it's raining it gets wet. 
you can have a map case but I don't really like wearing one anymore I used to and I still have one but I don't really like using it anymore um, so yeah I download them onto my phone also send the crew aka Dan the maps and also what three words for the crew points um, they're going on I don't particularly like it when a ride organizer um, puts the different route distances on different maps I would prefer to have all of the route distances on one map because then you can see where their cutoffs are and you know that you don't go down that way um, so what I do if they've done different maps and that is personal preference like I am not complaining I love all the effort they put into rides and it is just my personal preference that I prefer all the routes to be on one map so I will get my longest distance loop and just write on where the cutoffs for the other courses are so that I know that I'm not going down that um, route and make sure I know my route as much as possible without having to get my phone out and look at it all the time so yeah pretty good okay saddle in nice fluffy new numner bridle then I've got a waterproof a thin and a thick um, cooler rag got my stethoscope my heart rate monitor I've got a step to mount bucket sponge sweat scraper in case the crew car doesn't come back estrid boots my helmet I've got my riding sunglasses and I've got two quarter sheets one waterproof and one like thermtex quarter sheet that's for in the vet gate or in the start and I'm warming up and if it's cold or raining or whatever um, my logbook, my passport for travel. So I think we're all packed. So the only thing that remains is to give Esther a bath, platter up, and hopefully tomorrow morning off we go. Oh, my nose will just not stop running. <laughs> Esther's in. She was going to have a nice, warm, full body, head to toe bath. But um, my extension lead tripped the electric, so we've got a couple of kettles to do her tail, and the rest of it I'm just going to give a really decent brush. Not all I wanted, but I think Estrid hates water anyway, so maybe she planned it. Hey Estrid, having a munch? Let me show you a before and the tail. It's actually not that bad. Quite yellowy, but not that bad. So. I'm going to brush her first, head to toe, and then I'm going to wash the bits that look grimy but not the whole spa day I had planned. <laughs> typical Estrid got a bit cold even though I boiled lots of kettles in the end yo but look we've got plats yes we do the tail's looking good whoa almost fell over on the water there I'm just gonna put my new favorite rug on which is a Rambo summer series which is like half here and then net just to keep her a little bit warmer and hopefully a little bit cleaner um, and Estrid is always cold so little extra layer will not go amiss uh, you can see I don't normally use the neck because it's so much cleaner but it's like this soft shell material and even when it's been really warm she's never been sweaty with it on I'm really really pleased with it it was well worth the money okay should we put you back out grumpy girls yeah <laughs> it's super windy right so that the trailer packed the crew car packed the horse prepped I just need to go home and lay my stuff out ready but that's 
no big deal. Um, I thought I'd just go through what Estrid and I have been up to the last week as preparation. I'm sorry it's so windy, but I can't control the, the weather, unfortunately. So it is what it is. Um, so when we were going into the first ride of the season, all the way back in February, it was at the start of March, um, on the Monday I had planned a schooling session and we were working on canter transitions and then on the Tuesday a nice slow five kilometre hack, mainly walk, a little bit of trot. The Wednesday I then do a five minute each way lunge just so I can see the move and kind of make sure I'm, well the gate got stuck there, make sure I'm happy with them. But obviously that didn't happen because on the Monday we did a roly poly and a little bit of me was like oh I just won't school in the run-up to this week in case that happens again but I was like no that avoidance is not the answer and if it happens again we're not ready um, so I did exactly that so we schooled on Monday we even did um, practice our counter transitions and she got them on the correct lead every time no rushing and it was beautiful which gave me like that extra confidence of she is in a better place than she was before um, and then we did our hack on Monday and then we did our lunging on Wednesday and she was really good and she looked really nice don't be sassy um, and then she's had Thursday off today is Friday off and then 46 kilometers tomorrow if we stay sound, intact, injury free, if the trailer has no issues, if Maeve has no issues, if Dan has no issues and can come crew, and I have no issues and can ride, and we get there and we pass the vet, then tomorrow will hopefully be the start of our 2024 season. And I am actually, hello Wizzle. I'm actually really excited to just go out and have a good time with my pony. Whoa, what was that? Did something spook you? What was it? Pheasants, pesky pheasants. Yes, so we're off. Hopefully have a good time with our pony.